In the seventh universe, after the events related to Broly in Dragon Ball Super, months have passed on Earth since then, and planet Earth remained at peace and in deep calm. Meanwhile Goku was bored and had the brilliant idea of visiting Broly to try to communicate more with the legendary Saiyan, maybe train with him or even not have a rematch against the legendary Saiyan. Then Goku uses his teleportation to find Broly. Guys, before continuing this epic story, I left your like to help the channel and of course if you can, I also left a super thank you and help the channel financially and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news now let's go back to the video. On Broly's planet. Goku says, Hello Broly, I hope I wasn't bothering you, but if I am I'll leave, don't worry, said Goku with a small smile on his face. Broly is surprised to see that Goku was there and gets excited, and says, You came. Of course you're not disturbing anything, what did you come here to do? Broly said, Happy to see Goku after so long. Goku said, Look, I'm sorry about the events that happened a few months ago, and I'm sorry for not coming to visit you much, I was a little busy with my training on Mr. Beerus' planet. But anyway, now I'm here, how about we have a friendly arm wrestle, huh? We can measure our strengths a little, how about we start like this? Said Goku with confidence. Broly said, Oh sure, no problem, I know you and Vegeta are not to blame for what my father and I did, but anyway thank you for coming to visit me. Of course, let's arm wrestle then, prepare to be defeated, son Goku. Broly said with a smile. Then both Saiyans begin their arm wrestling putting as much of their strength into their fists, it was possible to see the entire floor of the planet shake and shake with the effort of both in wanting to defeat each other. But unfortunately due to an oversight and for part of Broly's great strength, Goku ends up losing the dispute. Goku was really surprised, as he didn't expect that he would lose so quickly, but Goku accepted the defeat with a smile on his face. Goku said, Wow, Broly, you really are very strong without even using your powers, you have surreal physical strength, you didn't even need to use your transformations to defeat me, you really are an opponent who has no limits, said Goku, being amazed by Broly's strength. Broly smiling said, there's no need to exaggerate, but I can say that you have better experience and combat style than mine, I think you could probably beat me with just that. Well, when you want to have a friendly fight I'll be here to try help with this part. Broly said happily. Goku smiles excitedly and says, you can leave it, don't worry. I will train and improve my strengths and I will beat you Broly. I will beat him, you can keep my words because they will become true, said Goku, leaving Broly excited. Broly then responds, I will be waiting for you anxiously. After all, not giving up is something that comes from our race. It is not? Goku then says, you are right Broly, and from what I could see in you was that in a few months, in addition to getting stronger, you also got smarter. Something I couldn't do, believe me, said Goku laughing a lot next to Broly. After this great visit from Goku, the Saiyan decides to say goodbye to Broly. Goku had returned to planet Earth with his teleportation and soon went to communicate with Vegeta about the great advance in strength that Broly had obtained in a short time. Goku was excited, as he wanted to fight Broly as quickly as possible, but first he wanted to call Vegeta to fight with him, as Broly is a great fighting machine who manages to evolve with each passing second. On planet Earth, Goku said, so Vegeta, Broly and I decided to arm wrestle, but the strangest thing is that a few seconds had passed and Broly had already taken my arm to the ground without much effort, despite him being in his base form. He is very strong. I can say that he can be stronger than both of us combined. Goku said excitedly. Vegeta said, stronger than the two of us together? Don't talk nonsense, Kakarado. If we use our powers to the fullest, we can probably beat him in battle without much difficulty. Remember that even though he has indescribable strength, we are still stronger than him. I'm the prince of the Saiyans, I can't lose to anyone. Vegeta said proudly, with the conversation between the two Saiyans, Whis ends up arriving on planet Earth with Beerus. Whis soon went to where Goku and Vegeta were talking without much delay, and seeing that the topic of conversation between the two was about Broly, Whis decided to participate in the conversation. Whis said, well, so you guys are thinking about fighting warrior Broly again, right? I very much doubt they will be able to maintain a balanced fight, Broly's power was something notable even for Mr. Beerus who praised him for his level of power. You both will have to train a lot to reach a new level. Whis said with a smile. Goku said, damn, is this serious? Even Mr. Beerus recognized him? 
Well, it's really not easy to beat Broly. I admit that in my current state I would probably lose to him in a not very difficult way. Broly himself is an anomaly. Vegeta said, hmm, nothing much. I can get stronger and stronger. I, the prince of the Saiyans, will not give up that easily. I have to find a method to get stronger. Whis said, well, do you want to know if there really is a method to match or even surpass Broly? Well, remember the enormous power that Broly demonstrated after seeing his father being eliminated by Frieza? Well, you too will have to reach that level of power in no time if you want to truly catch up to Broly, spoke Whis, trying to help Goku and Vegeta in their respective training. Goku said, so, we'll have to reach Broly's power level, is that it? The legendary Super Saiyan guy? The big problem itself is how we can achieve this power, we have already done all the possible training regarding Saiyan transformations, it really is a somewhat complicated task to carry out. Goku said apparently without hope until Whis let out a light laugh and left the two Saiyans confused. Vegeta asked, what do you know Whis and didn't tell us? Vegeta asked, intrigued. Whis sighs and then says, there is an ancient method, an ancient type of training where it is possible to awaken this transformation through unnatural means and still be able to gain more power. You will have to put the Ozaro form from the outside and if you are really willing, you will have to return to your primitive instincts. The true face of the Saiyan race, Whis said, smiling mischievously while both warriors looked at each other, thinking about it. Vegeta says, what are the risks of this? It's clear that power like this isn't easily gained. Don't hide anything from me. Speak soon. Whis with a serious look said, Good score, Mr. Vegeta. Yes, there are risks, as I said, from the primitive side of the Saiyan race. The Oazaro transformation is capable of returning to his animal instinct and never being able to return to his normal appearance, in addition to losing his memory and consciousness for all eternity. But it's a small risk but it can happen. Whis explained, leaving Vegeta irritated. Vegeta said, keep me away from this story, not even Kakarado is crazy to risk his sanity for this. Goku says, I accept. If you are going to get stronger, it is a risk that must be accepted. After all, there are always risks, said Goku smiling, impressing Whis, but Vegeta soon became filled with hatred. Vegeta says, miserable, since Kakarado is going to take a risk, I won't be left behind, I accept it too. Whis smiles and says, great boys, then follow me, to start training we will go to the planet of the Ozaros a thousand years ago, said Whis, leaving Vegeta and Goku impressed. Well guys, we've reached the end of part 1, what did you think? Did you like this story format? In your opinion, will Goku and Vegeta achieve Broly's legendary Super Saiyan transformation? Comment please leave your feedback so I can bring more videos like this. And of course, don't forget to like and also subscribe to the channel so guys, the video ends here until next time.